Hello, uh, I'm back for a little bit. Um, I'm actually cleaning the studio instead of making pots today. It's just a wreck. So it needs to be cleaned. In the process, I picked up something at the hardware store the other day and uh, I think some of you might be interested in it. If you remember right, I have another video where I made an extruder out of a caulking gun. You know, this is like a big caulking gun. <laughs> anyway, um, and then I uh, cut some PVC and stuff and made the tube. Um, anyway, while I was at the hardware store, it's a store, and I, I don't get anything out of this. I just want you to know where to pick this up. Right now, they have these on... Uh, it's a basically another caulking gun, but this one already has the tube, tube, and a uh, uh, end cap, so it's all ready to go. This was uh, in the fifteen dollar range. It also comes with this tube of sealant, which I wasn't really interested in. I will find some way to use that in the process, or not process, but. Somewhere along the line, I'm going to need some sealant, so I'll use it for that. Anyway, I want to show you this. Um, let's see if we can get this down to where I can. There we go. Um, please excuse the mess again. Anyway, this is what comes in the kit. You get a caulking uh, tube. Uh, which I'm sure you could cut down and make uh, an extruder for some, you know, uh, to make coils with whatever. Anyway, then there's also this tube of uh, silicone caulking, which I'll find a use for. But this is what I was most interested in. And I haven't even opened this up, but I know from looking at it that uh, I can make uh, dies for the end of this, put on the end of here, and uh, have an instant extruder. So, uh, pull this back, put your clay in there. I mean, that's going to hold a lot of clay. And put your uh, die in here. Let's just see if I can get the die. I, I doubt if the die that's in this one is going to fit in the other one, but we will see. And you're probably going, why does he need two extruders? Well, I don't. <laughs> I just, this was... Uh, basically a clearance item and I I jumped on it oh look it's just about the right size but not quite and I'll have to make a new extruder this is a, the extruder I use for handles I've got some other couple around here cut these out of the bottom of uh, well like here I just have a hole saw and I cut them out of the tops of uh, bucket lids. Anyway, just almost fits. I know it's going to work. Uh, so you'll, you know, drop your die in there. This is so simple. It's just going to gonna work like a dream. This is all this is cast aluminum back here. Um, I don't know that you can, oh, you can. You can take this end off to clean it. So that'll be great. There you go. It's just a tube. Anyway, both ends are the same, so it's interchangeable. Um, this is already set up to, to hug the inside of the tube, so, uh, <laughs> Tony, you don't need anything to do except make your dies. And that's a, that's a piece of cake. Anyway, thought you might be excited about that. 
Again, uh, you can order them, I'm sure, online from that store. Um, the brand name, in case you want to look it up online. Again, Ingersoll Products Incorporated, sold by Menards. So, I just figured you might want to uh, check that out. I will promise I'll get back in here. I've got I've got some uh, bird feeders I'm making. Uh, there's a lot of things that got dropped along the holidays that I got to pick up on. Uh, anyway, I've got bird feeders to make, some bird houses to make, and I'm going to do. I want to do some raccoon firing this spring. Uh, so I'm going to get some pots made for that and I'll take you guys along for the journey. I'll see you as soon as I can get back on here. I'll talk to you later. Bye.